Hi! Today I'll be showing what to do and not to do while building in Bloxburg. So the first do and don't in building in Bloxburg is color schemes. So I see a lot of people do these kinds of color schemes that I'm showing right here. So, for example, they do bright colors, and they also do, like, prints like this, and prints like this, like, in the wrong places. So, this just makes the cost look, um, a bit too, um... I feel like it's not calm, like it's not, I don't know, but a lot of newbies, I see, by newbies I mean like new people, but I see a lot of new people in Bloxburg doing this, so instead of this color palette, this kind of makes it look funny, um, instead of that, try to do this. So, try to do a more calm color palette. So, colors like seashell, if you're doing like a soft home, or colors like sand green, that's a really good color, and calm prints like this. Um, and prints that actually match the house style that you're doing. So this just matches the soft house. Um, so I guess this this color palette is better, I say, than for example this one. This one is chaotic and this one is more calm I feel like I see a lot of people doing this for walls for example like for the roof they place this one for the walls they place this one and it looks kind of funky um so just do what your house's theme is so this is for a soft house and don't use funky prints like this use actual natural materials that you would see in real life like you probably wouldn't see this in, on the roof in real life <laughs> the next thing is don't do messy floors or roof so an example of this if we go to floors and manual placing i see some people like do this kind of stuff where it's sloppy and let's just color this color and then they place another roof on top of it mostly new people do this um, because they don't know how to do stuff in Bloxburg but here is here is an example so look how it's glitching and um, it just looks really weird like why is it why is it overlapping itself? I don't know, this just looks weird and it also creates a bad floor. Whoever is visiting will be like, what's wrong with your floor? Why is it glitching? And um, so what you do need to do to not create a messy roof is do this. So, if you don't want to create a messy floor, messy roof, you first of all, you fill the whole thing in like this with manual placement, all the corners, and then you color it one color so that you don't need to overlap it with something else to fill it in. So, just do it all at once to... to just get rid of this glitching and just do a calm floor like this so this is the do and don't 
the next do and don'ts that I see in Bloxburg are don't use bright colors for the roof and don't place the walls in random places. So an example of this, I saw a house in Bloxburg yesterday that um, looked kind of like this. Um, and from the outside, it looked like this. I don't know what the inside looked like, but basically the windows were very randomly placed. Um, and I'm not going to say what the user of this house is, but they were kind of randomly placed. So they were like up here and down here and, um, it was really random and I just, just don't do this. It kind of looks funky. Um, first of all, like, if it would, you would look from the inside, it would be kind of weird too. So, yeah. And then the do for this, what you do need to do is, um, I'm just going to create a nicer floor plan too. And that's not really good, but... What you should do for the windows is I place them like at one level usually. Like do this, do this. And I just um place them at one level. Like this. Um or like this. So they're not random like this is so they're all at one level they're in a straight line like this and they're nicely placed near each other so that what that's what you do need to do for the windows and for the roofs um i also saw the house in blocksburg do this so they had a pyramid roof and they placed it like this um and they colored it like this so uh i think they colored it yellow yes they colored it yellow um and they colored the walls all bright colors they colored one blue and they it was kind of funky looking um and they colored like one wall red and first of all it's not like they don't have consistency with their coloring so they're using all crazy colors that don't really go together so yeah that looks kind of silly but what you do need to do for the roof is um pyramid roof is actually one of my least favorite roofs so um maybe i could use the hollow mansard roof instead um, just, I don't think pyramid roofs go with a lot of styles in Bloxburg. I just think they just don't go well with a lot of things. So, what you do need to do... Oh, well, that looks horrible, but I guess. Um, what you do need to do is color it a nice color. So, um, maybe seashell. Uh, I don't know, and I'm gonna use the material and look how it looks like decent I guess it's not a really good house that I built for this but you know I colored the walls with a non crazy color like this I mean that's a bit crazy but like this for example and it's not a crazy color and um, seashell and white do go together Go, do go together really good and just neon blue and neon yellow just don't go together so this is the do and don't okay so the next thing that I see a lot of people do wrong is the floor plan so you need to have a nice floor plan this is the don't for floor plans so to be honest, we all built like this at one point when we were new in Bloxburg, and I, I literally built like this, okay? It was terrifying, 
and I, I I look back to the house, and it was literally like this, and the floor plan was horrible. Like it was like it was like this and stuff and like this. It, it they were just these awkward corners, and I remember now I cringe at them. Like what is this? Um and. Also, don't don't just avoid having a bad shape. Also, avoid doing too big of a room. So, if this is gonna be a bedroom, this is quite too big for a bedroom, unless it's a master bedroom. Um, but for a kid's bedroom, this is too big. And for a whole kitchen, this is too big. So, just avoid doing big rooms if you don't need to do big rooms. If you're doing a mansion, then do big rooms. But other than that, don't create extra space that you don't need now i do this all the time so i try to avoid it so what you do need to do instead of having this floor plan is do something like this not with too many um diagonals so you can have one diagonal here for example And then just have it like that that's um i think that's a decent floor plan i don't know but like this is reasonable size for a kid's bedroom i think it's a bit small but if you just want to fit one bed in here it's fine and this is a reasonable size for a bathroom um maybe a little bit bigger yeah, this is the reasonable size for a bathroom, and this is the reasonable size for everything. Um, this house is a bit small, but unless you're doing a mansion, don't do too big of a room, and don't do crazy diagonals, diagonal walls like this. So the next do and don't is don't use automatic placement on roofs and do use manual placement so let me show an example of what it is like with manual versus automatic so we're gonna build the same house shape and we're gonna see what it looks like with each mode on for the roofs and see what it does to us so we can get a visual of what's better and what's worse. So for example, we're gonna use the gable roof. This is for automatic placement. So you can change it by pressing the letter T or just clicking on it. And so with automatic, you see, it's kind of like that. Um, But if we place manual for this, we can get a better roof. So first of all, we can separate it in sections so it kind of looks better um or do kind of thing like this like that see how that looks like a lot better already so um you could do a thing like that with manual placement so kind of looks better if you ask me so Let's just do another one here. So it automatically looks better and you have more control over how you built the roof. Um, so this is more plain and simple and a lot of new people use automatic placement probably because they haven't discovered that you can do manual placement. But this is just what you should do instead. See how it's pretty detailed and I actually had control of what I was building. and not do is add plants so you do need to add plants in your house to make it look more um i guess pretty and decorated and well kept so this is just my little model room that i made for this example so 
this is without plants and I'm just gonna add plants right here um, and you'll just see how much better and prettier it looks just with plants and without plants so we're gonna add a couple plants in the corners couple plants on the tables and a little cactus right here and this bedroom is kind of I don't really like it that much <laughs> sorry um, I just rushed to build it so it's kind of messy kind of missing a few things but you do get the point. So here is I add plants. So we're just going to color them now and we'll see how much better it looks because like I've done many houses and when I was like a new player, you know, I didn't really know what to do and I was a really bad builder and so I didn't add plants and then I noticed that when you add plants it looks so much better so that's part of how I grew from my non plant building style and um, I'm almost done coloring them here um also plants just make the room really cute and yeah, I mean, even plants in real life really improve how the room looks. So, it just makes the room look clean and fresh. And the fact that you don't need to take care of the plants unless they're flowers, because in Bloxburg, you don't need to water these grasses or anything. So, yeah, this is the version with plants. I can also add some here. Um, and I'll add one right here But yeah, this is the version with plants notice how it looks so much better so much fresher and um, Plants also fill in extra space. So if you have some extra space you can Use plants to fill them in so This is just a finished version of the room with plants to so see how it looks so much more pretty and it Just goes with the aesthetic of the room so yeah, just the before version is what you should, I don't recommend doing because I just recommend adding plants. I think it gives more compliments to the house and it complements the color scheme more and it complements the style more. Thank you so much for watching. It would be an honor if you subscribed and liked this video.